A sneakless bag. A quick one for you tonight. Or will it be? Who knows? Now, guess what distro we're logging into tonight, OK? Mm. And as you can see, it comes with a Trinity desktop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to log in. And you will see. And oh, let's get it do its thing, baby. OK. We'll load the desktop to EXE GNU Linux, OK? Now, this comes from Exmouth, about two hours from where I live, just down, down in the southwest. Deep, 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 deep southwest, OK? Right, Debian, but with Trinity Desktop, and it's quite GNU friendly, shall we say. Okay. I'm not sure if I would use this personally on a day-to-day -day basis, but it might appeal to some people. So I've changed the, back, the desktop background and everything else. And you can see it's old school KDE, or KDE 3.5, I think we used to call it. So you get all this down here, time and date, your rest of the net, your four workspaces, menu, nerds, home, and determine, ah, or console. Whatever you want to call it. Now I must say it is very sprightly and uses very, very little RAM. So if I go here and we'll go straight to H dot for you. Right. Two hundred and seven mega RAM. That's not a lot, is it, for a quite a modern distribution. But I have had some problems with it, but I'll show you them in a second, okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go straight to the browser to show you some of these problemos, okay? And I have tried to update it via terminal and it says it's all up to date so we'll soon find out so if we go to the tube and see if it works today okay because i installed it yesterday i just didn't get around to doing the video yesterday so we we'll go straight to the tube what we're going to do oh it's a bit slow we'll go straight to me because we don't want to break any laws news me uh, hi i'm me how are you i'm good thank you and we're just going to try installing or installing and playing a video okay this is when i done two days ago okay will it play okay. oh it's calling me a liar now but will it play my video okay we'll give it a couple of seconds skip intro fair enough it's calling me a liar okay it is now playing but can i play it in more than 480p let's give it a go yep it's called me a liar that so that's actually playing fine today. Yesterday, it didn't want to play at all. It was just complete stutter city. So I don't know what's happened there. Maybe because I just left it and restarted it, it done the business. Fair enough. Called me a liar. What do you know? Okay. Now, being the old school KDE, you get lots and lots of old school stuff. Okay, so I'll go quickly for it. It's not going to be a very long video. Yeah, K diff, a lot of Ks again. K, 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 K diff free, diff patch front end, K reg X editor. A regular expression editor and a graphics. You do get Gimpage. I'll open that for you. So show you how quick it is. I've not opened it before. This is how it is. Because so you know you can like pre-program it to open and then open it again and it'll both. But not this time. This is straight from the hard drive. Under internet gets Semi. Firefox, of course, is your default browser. Kget, Knet, Ktorrent, Conqueror, Conversation, and Wicked. Wicked jungle is massive. Amrock is your default player of choice here. Audacity is here, GTK Tube. If you do have trouble using Tube, I would advise using that. Remember, this can be used on really, really old machines. You do get K3B here, no problem, and Caffeine and Window Left Video Converter, which is super. No full LibreOffice suite here, but you can install it yourself. But you get KSpread and KWord. So we'll go down and we'll open KWord. That's quite quick, isn't it, really, when you think about it? That is really, really quick. So I guess blank document. Do we double click that? Yes, we do. Open that full. See, it's really, really fast for a little RAM usage, really, at the end of the day. But some people might not like the old style of doing things. Okay, so under settings, ADSL PPPO E configuration, just in case it all goes up the swanny and we have to use dial up again. You know the score, hardcore. Audio CDs. CWDB retrieval for doing the other CD, so get all the information for them. G parted. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly go through them. I'm just giving you a quick look at the end of the day. And Synaptic is here, obviously, to install stuff. Under system, as you can see, you get loads. Loads of bleach bits here. The installer's still here. Hmm. I installed it. But hey, who cares? Hates up again. Cron, K disk, blah, 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 blah. console, K week disk, mid. Oh. Don't that take you back in time? I know, I know. Back in the day. Then find folders and files. Utilities are here. 
there's plenty for you to play with. Go to control. I'll take this to control center. This is how KD used to look back in the day. Okay. And I think it still looks like this on a couple of distros now anyway on modern ones. But this is how we used to do things in KD. I didn't really mind KD when it was like this actually. Except for the k stuff. All the time. All the time. System menu, it's all there. And the run command. If you want to give it a go, go and download it. Or visit Xmouth and go and see the guys. Mmm, really nice place actually, sometimes. In the summer it's great. But yeah, that's EXE GNU Linux. Go and give it a play. You might like it, you may not. But it is really, really, really fast. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Ho, 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 ho.